Hey everyone, welcome back and happy Thursday. Happy Thursday and welcome back to Up and Adam channel too. Okay guys, so we are back to talk about some more Vanderpump Rules stuff. Actually, this one's more the Valley and the Valley is going to continue on for a hot second just because of everything that we have going on. Um, and the show's not over. Even though Vanderpump Rules is over, the Valley's not over, which means we have more stuff to talk about. So there's that. No. <laughs> With that, we're about to jump right in. Before we do, go ahead, pop off in the comment section. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. Do not forget to hit that notification bell. And um, I say let's just jump right in. All right, guys. So we're going to start right here with the Jax Taylor of it all. Thank you to Reality Blurb. Jax Taylor leaked a series of text messages that he received from his estranged wife, Brittany Cartwright, on his Instagram story on Tuesday after his outings with Paige Woolen. Oh, God. Brittany also took to her Instagram account and suggested that she sustained horrific mental abuse from Jax, who has recently been seen lashing out against her on the Valley. She also reacted to the criticism about their son, three-year-old Cruz, and she contacted Jax about, well, Cruz. Send me a pic of him, please, is what Brittany requested in a message posted to Jax's story. Those shoes okay, he asked, and she said, yeah. Then after Jax asked her if she was okay with his outfit, Brittany said their child looks so handsome and asked, did he get a nap in? That would be this series of messages. In the caption of his Instagram story post, Jack said, even though mom's away for work, we still get the outfit approval. Now, meanwhile, in the comment section of one of her latest Instagram posts, Brittany reacted to a fan who suggested that Jax had painted her in a negative light on the valley. All of these comments hating on you are exactly why you need to stay apart from Jax. He really created a whole negative narrative about you on television, which is the exact opposite of what a good partner should do, especially since you've spent so many seasons trying to change his narrative to a positive one. I mean, let me just say really quick, if I were on reality TV and I had somebody that I shared a kid with or a spouse, even if I was on reality TV with Jason, and I know sometimes you get caught up in moments. I just feel like Jax. I do understand that having cameras around you for three months, like you're going to see the good, the bad, the ugly. But I felt like Jax's actions were voluntary. And then I also felt like you are in that moment, you know, in your head how this is going to look because you are a seasoned vet on Vanderpump Rules. So, you know, whatever you say is probably going to be used on film and when you're saying negative things about your the mother of your child and your wife that's probably going to air so ultimately you chose the show over your wife that's kind of what it feels like but wait we're not done now after liking the comment Brittany agreed i don't understand how people don't see what he was doing that would be this set of comments like i said it doesn't stop um god she also liked to comment that read i think she is a very strong person think about it she walked away from a home and she loved that she loved and helped create that home for her child it must have been horrific the mental abuse that she suffered people don't just walk away from all that they love if it's not for the safety of their child and mental health go Brittany. go we got you but also on Instagram, Brittany came across a post in which Jax was seen with his arm around Paige at Jeremy Mac Maddox's birthday celebration. Um, God, this was not a good one either. The Bravo Babe wrote in a caption of the screenshot, Jax date page says, and I'm pregnant after someone took a photo in the last slide. Weird joke, girl. So Jax is dating around, I guess. Brittany did say that they were free to date other people. Now, after sharing the sharing of the screenshot of Jackson Page, one commenter spoke of Cruz and said he should probably be worried about his child who is clearly struggling with autism instead of girlies. They could do a lot for the community, and it sucks watching them run around and deny when your kid's flapping, lining up blocks, and nonverbal. Um, understandably, that's when Brittany made the post that I told you guys about before. Um, 
well, it was right before. She said, how dare you say that? I'm the one taking him to speech therapy twice a week and OT appointments, scheduling all of his doctor's visits, working with him every single day and night. I'm with him all the time and doing everything I can. Leave my son out of this ridiculous shit. How dare you all? He is a perfect, innocent child. Do not speak about things that you have no idea about just because you see 30 minutes of a show that was recorded last summer. Keep my son's name out of your mouth. Enough is enough. Mm. Somebody was pissed off. Which, by the way, any of us would have been pissed off. I mean, I don't even have kids and I'm pissed off for her. Because if I had my son on a show, and I understand they're putting him on the show, but that's just it. It's not like a contracted talent who's going on the show who is being like, oh, okay, well, I chose to be here. I signed the contract. I'm getting the paycheck. It's their kid who unfortunately is collateral to the job but they need the jobs to pay for their kid so i say if anybody needs to be criticized criticize jacks and britney for other things that do not surround their son and i think that that's just like a that's like a normal ass that's not like some big thing to say don't talk about somebody's three-year-old i think it's more alarming when somebody does talk about somebody's three-year-old like is this just like wild am i missing something I feel like I'm like, people are going to think I'm crazy for saying that. Okay. Now, Emily Simpson also came into play. And um, I think she might eat these words, but we'll see. Emily Simpson co-signs on Jax Taylor's valid points on Brittany Cartwright's drinking. Thank you to realityt.com. Not often that anyone publicly admits to agreeing with Jax Taylor, but when it comes to Brittany Cartwright's vomiting situation, Emily Simpson thinks that he might have a point. She hosts a podcast with Teddy Mellencamp called Poppin' Off, where they cover everything related to Vanderpump Rules in the Valley. And during a recent episode, they talked about the estranged couple and how Brittany is constantly puking. And Jax attributed it to her alcohol consumption and criticized her for continuing to do it. Basically, he told Brittany to put the bottle down and Emily thought he had a valid point. Mm. Now, although Emily nor Jax are doctors, someone who is a medical professional also recommended that Brittany stop drinking. A doctor told her that she had a stomach ulcer. She seems to puke every time she drinks. It's not that hard to put two and two together. Now, when Jax raised his concerns to Brittany on the valley, he didn't necessarily do it with compassion, as we all saw. But the conversation got pretty heated. Regardless of the delivery, Emily thought he made a valid point. All right, Emily. I thought he made a valid point. I actually feel like he has valid points when it comes to drinking or whatever is going on because we see her get sick multiple times. So clearly there is an issue. And I don't know if it has to do with her ulcer. I don't know if she is really drinking too much, but I don't know if she's only drinking a little. But when you're repeatedly getting sick and it ruins your entire day and you have to stay in bed, it's a problem. But meanwhile, the word on the street is that Britney's vomiting has improved in the days since her split from Jax because Sheena recently revealed on her podcast that Britney hasn't vomited at all since their split. Is that a correlation or a causation? Nobody sure. But the good news is she's feeling better. Now, I want to hear what you guys think. So pop off in the comment section, please. And definitely let us know. Smash that like button. If you guys are not subscribed to Up and Adam channel too, get subscribed and we'll see you. Well, we have hot messy topics tomorrow. So catch all the pre-records today and then we'll see you live tomorrow. Love you guys. Bye.